<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's Gamer Station One Two Three Four. Apologies for not having an episode on Monday. Something came up last minute. Okay, well, I'm your host, Will, and with us we have the Trent Network. How you doing, Trent? Hello, hello, YouTube. I'm Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Lynn. Hey, guys. Hey, YouTube. How's everybody doing? I'm pretty sure everybody's doing well. I hope so. No matter where you are or what you're going through, things will always get better. Exactly. Go ahead. Look at you taking the words. Lynn's words of wisdom right there. The more you know. <laughs> All right, next we have Denny, which we haven't seen you in a while. How's it going, buddy? Hi, everyone. Hi, YouTube. I'm doing good. Actually, busy. Um, yeah. How you doing? I think the last episode that we actually had you on was your birthday. It was like ten episodes ago. Oh. Well, I think it was like more like six episodes, but yeah. Who's cap? No. I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you could be right. I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't think he's been for six episodes, so I don't, I don't know actually. I have to double check. I have to make sure. Uh, next, we have Dirty with the blue hair. How you doing, Dirty? Hey, what's going in, GN1234? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dirty Blue Hair. I'm back. <laughs> well, speaking of Dirty with the Blue Hair, which is technically a term for Dirty's character Ludwig within Mario Kart 8, um, I have 100% completed Mario Kart 8. I have gotten all the stamps, all the stars, all the trophies, all the characters, you know. You know, you know the whole, the whole shebang, the whole nine. But anyways, that's besides the point. That was just a side no. So now I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna start this question, and it's gonna get really deep here. All right. Uh oh. All right. First off. All right. First question. Um, I read an article yesterday that said that there was something about Japan. Like saying that Final Fantasy 15, the director, the new director of Final Fantasy 15, is doing um. He said that a lot is riding on Final Fantasy XV's success because that will determine if console games are still going to be popular in the future in Japan. Can you imagine that we have no more Japanese developers developing Japanese console games anymore? Like, can you imagine that? Like, <sighs> I mean... You know, they said that the reason why is because a lot of Japanese people play, you know, on mobile games or that they play handheld games. And the reason why they play in ha handheld games is because Japanese people like freedom. Obviously, it's the majority of Japanese people. People who take trains and, 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 uh, and, and buses to get to work and stuff, and it takes a long, long time. A lot of people are usually on a device, so they don't have to interact with anybody, but they're on a device. So, like, I don't know, but I don't know what I, I don't know what I think, but I'm going to go down every, uh, every uh, down the line. So, Dirty, what do you think about a possibility of Japanese games no longer being created if Final Fantasy XV fails to live up to expectations? Well, that's kind of crazy. I don't see why it would just be on Final Fantasy, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. there's other, you know, Japanese games that, you know, do actually well. Yeah. But, but my whole thing is if this guy is riding on 15 to, I mean, he better come correct then. Yeah. Uh, what, what, the last Final Fantasy, I mean, they wasn't all that great after what, um, 10 and... And what what it was called Final Fantasy X then X two, mm. so the rest of those I mean they was just you know meh. Mm -hmm. so, I mean he got to come correct you know if he got to go back to you know Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy seven and eight you know then that's what he need to do maybe he need to go back and and play his old games you know what I'm saying that got our attention back then on the PlayStation one so I mean. Well, I, um, but 
But just to just to add a little bit more to the story, just so that way that there's a little bit more understanding. The guy who's directing this did Final Fantasy VII and Crisis Core, but he's replacing the director that did Kingdom Hearts. So so he's taking over the project. Now I think what he meant is that I don't think it means it's going to be the end of Japanese console gaming. I just think that a lot is riding on Final Fantasy, and most likely Square Enix will most likely focus on handheld department as opposed to console gaming. At least that's what I think it means. But I think it's he's only speaking strictly for Square Enix, not for all Japanese companies, because it would be stupid if every Japanese company did it. Because like, if Nintendo just did it like that, you know, what? Right. Yeah. So okay. I don't know. I don't know. But you know, that's just some added stuff to it. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to add to it? Um, no, I mean, um, the, the Final Fantasy XV, was that the one they showed at E3, like, two years ago, where it looked like it was action-based? Yes, and they showed it at Tokyo Game Show, a new trailer, and they're coming out with a demo. If you buy Final Fantasy Agato or Type-0, uh, on, on March 18th or something, March, one of... It was like in the middle of March, and then if you buy, if you get the game, Trent, do you remember the date? Trent. Okay, never mind. Um, Mike might be muted. Uh, it's it's uh the it's um but it's like in the middle of March, and if you buy if you buy the game, you get the access to the demo free, which can be anywhere between an hour to four hours for that demo. So, yeah. Final Fantasy X. This game has been in the making for going on nine years. <laughs> so it's a pretty big game. It's a pretty big game. Um, so yeah, Denny, yeah. what do you have? What are your thoughts on um, what are your thoughts on this uh, on possible Japanese gaming going strictly to handheld gaming instead of consoles? I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this one. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh -huh. You wouldn't be upset if 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 they no longer make like Final Fantasy on a PS4 or you know or like or P at PlayStation 5 that you can only play Final Fantasy on your 3DS or a PlayStation Vita? Uh, yeah, but I don't really care about Final Fantasy though. Okay, well, what about other Japanese games like Persona, Kingdom Hearts? Um, uh, I like want that. them to be on consoles. Yes. So, yeah. we need Final Fantasy people, everybody out there in the world that's listening to the show, buy Final Fantasy 15 during the launch. It's gonna only be one viewer so far. One viewer. We're very no, I'm playing. We're very watching you. It's, I think it's probably Trent watching us, but. If you or Miss K. Of, or Miss K. Give me Miss K. If it's Miss K, hi Miss K. Well, hi viewer in general. Um, <laughs> all right. Lynn, how do you feel about possible possibility of Japanese the Japanese market going strictly handheld? I don't know, actually. Um, a lot of their handhelds are really good, though. Like, they're, they're full games. They're not, like, they don't feel... Um, like they've been rushed or cut off or, you know, whatever. They actually have a lot of content. Um, but I would miss games like, um, uh, well, I don't know. If you can't even remember the name, you ain't going to miss it. Uh-uh. <laughs> right now my mind is drawing a blank because I have other things on my mind. So it's yeah. not, everything is not you know, coincide in the way it, it should. But Monster Hunter, that's that's what I was trying to think of. Um, Monster Hunter is most likely more popular on a handheld than it is on a console. But it's still fun on the console. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's cool on the handheld, but it's still fun on the console. I like the versatility. I like to be able to choose, you mm -hmm. know, how I want to play my game. Yeah. And some games to me look better on the big screen and feels better on the big screen than they do on a handheld. I understand, you know, that overseas where you know, that's how it works there, but you know, here a lot of us drive where we need to go. You know, um a lot of us don't really take buses and stuff like or trains and stuff like that unless we live in big cities. 
And then there are places that don't even have buses so or trains. So, you know, we have to drive where we need to go. So we don't have that that time, that downtime to, to play these games on handhelds. And then a lot of us tend to play more on the big screen. When we get home, we can relax and, you know, play games that way. And, I mean, it's, it's fun either way, you know. I I don't really know how to feel about that. I you know I don't know whether or not we kind of misunderstood exactly the message that they're trying to convey in reference to these games. But you know it kind of sounds like an ultimatum in a way too. Like you know if if we don't sell X amount of games and that's it, we're not doing this anymore. That's just a done deal. You know, mm -hmm. I mean at least that's how I'm taking it. I could be taking it wrong. But the, what I gather from what you said is that it's basically an ultimatum. If we don't get X amount of sales, we're not doing this. You know, so that's kind of like what it seems like. And that, to me, does not sound like good business practices. But knowing that they put so much time and effort in these games, it may be more feasible for them to do that. Mm -hmm. it, because they're putting in all this time and effort and not reaping the benefits of it. Yeah. Um. Uh, Trent, are you there? Yes. How do you feel about a possibility of Jap of the Japanese market going completely all handheld and no longer console? I'll be very devastated. Probably wouldn't play video games as much. Um, cause I'll be so sad <laughs> that I wouldn't have anything to look forward to. Uh, Unlike the American games like Call of Duties and all that DLC and even good games like um, Bioshock, the even a greater one is. I mean, other than that, I wouldn't have anything to look forward to. I mean, mm -hmm. the Japanese thing is kind of Japanese games are kind of reason why I brought the console in the first place. I think I would just be a, a PC gamer. True. I wouldn't have anything to look forward to. It wouldn't be a point of having Nintendo. I, I don't like portable gaming anymore, so. That, that's just kind of like devastating for me, but if it's Final Fantasy only, I guess I'm like what Denny said, two-sided. It's like if Final Fantasy doesn't live up to what I, my expectations are and Kingdom Hearts doesn't, goodbye, Square Enix. <laughs> you were good when you were Square Soft anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. I had to say goodbye to Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. Bye. Yeah, I know, I know damn well you ain't gonna let go of Kingdom Hearts, even if the third one doesn't live up to your expectations. You're still gonna get the next one. I know you are. They will probably won't make a next one if, the, if this what you're saying is well, true. It, 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 be it, a it, one. But well, first, this is what my this is what I'm but this is what I feel about it. Like with this, I think what he meant to say was that it wasn't gonna be the end of console gaming. Japanese, that's a big market. They make money. It's just it takes them so long to make games compared to the American market, because they actually work on their games. Yeah, they don't really have a lot of DLC either, do they? They don't, they don't. Compared because to their Americans, games are don't. complete. Their games are complete, and you know what? The thing is, is that, the thing is, is that that's kind of why Nintendo is going this route, is because they're going with the DLC route. It is because of that is because, you know, it's taking them too long to create games. They need to have games, especially since they don't have no third-party su support to give them time. They need to release a game as good as they possibly can make it and then release DLC to fix it later. But the thing is, is that that's where I hate where games are going. And I have to mention the game's name, but Destiny did this. It did it. It ruined it. The fact that it says, oh, this game is not done and it's going to be a game that's going to be good over 10 years. No. I wanted the finished product. Why didn't you just like let the game live for ten years and let it let it be the last game you release on the PlayStation Four or make it a PlayStation Five launch exclusive? Why not that, huh? Instead of just having us get because it could have been a complete badass game if that's what they gave us. But the thing is, is that the thing is, is that yes, we need games. We cry drought all the time. We cry all this stuff like that. If your game is going in a direction that's going good, that it's going to be worth the wait, I can wait. I can wait. I waited already nine years for Final Fantasy XV. You know, I can wait. I can wait. Um. There are little games and stuff like that, and even though that this console generation really isn't the most exciting, it's just I'm scared. I want this console generation to be good. But the thing is that if Japanese gaming were just to stop altogether, 
my heart will be completely destroyed. Because honestly, that is the reason why I play consoles. I was raised on Japanese gaming. I was raised on the stories. I love the stories despite how cliche they are, where it's all about friendship and it's all us. I love that. I love it. I love the corny stuff. I love corny storylines. I don't care. Now the whole, oh, I got to save my sister from a killer or something like that, you know, you know, there's only so much of that that I can personally take. I'd rather save a princess or something. I'd rather something simplistic than something that's over the top and stuff. And even though Kingdom Hearts is very convoluted in its story, like, like you have to play every single one and, like, literally analyze everything that you would have missed in cutscenes to kind of understand what means what. Like, touching Keyblades makes you a Keyblade person. You know, things like that. But, um, oh, God. It's like, this is not even the topic. But anyways, I think what he means is that I don't think console gaming is going to end. I just think what he means is that that the evaluation or production times in Japanese games are no longer going to be a factor if Final Fantasy XV doesn't work out. They wanted to meet expectations because a lot of people have a lot of writing on this game because this game has been in production for so long. So it's like, you know, so I'm really excited for Final Fantasy XV. But I think he was just speaking for Square Enix. I don't think he was speaking for anything else. Because Square Enix is not doing that great. So, whatever. Moving. Moving. Um, next story. What else? Oh, Lynn, Lynn, you posted up an interesting story. That you said that the Wii U is actually outselling the, um, the, the PlayStation 4 now. Yay, Nintendo! So, a part of me, I have to say... I don't know is, how true that is. I, mean, I don't think it's as true. Like, when I say outselling, I'm just saying that maybe they're selling more this week. Or either this month. Or this month. Yeah. Than, you know, but I don't think that, like, okay, like, if, if Super Smash Bros. was coming out next week, I can totally see that being true, but other than that, most likely Nintendo's not selling, out, outselling know anything <laughs> I hate to say that um, I really want them to but I hate to say it um, does anybody have anything to say like do you think it's possible that Nintendo can outsell them? <laughs> I mean why not that's not funny I know it's not funny if, but I'm if, just saying Nintendo actually if third party would actually just get on board you know what I'm saying I think um, you would actually you know um, catch up with the uh, PlayStation 4, even though it's not too far behind. I think it's what, like, like two million or two and a half million behind the PlayStation 4. Mm. But if third party, you know, just get on board and just put the games out, you know what I'm saying, and stop being greedy, then, you know, they will make money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, you know, Nintendo can be the second console, you know, in people home. You know, if you're if if your main one is Xbox One or PlayStation, that's fine. But you know your secondary can be you know the Wii U. But you know yeah. you got these developers that you know don't want to put games on there, and it's not about power. It's not about power. It's not about the power of these systems. Because the games that I'm seeing right now, I, I'm still not blown away. They look nice, but I haven't seen nothing that just blew me away. Like oh my god, this is next gen right here. Mm. No, nothing. nothing. Except for Final Fantasy XV. No, <laughs> that was the only game I could say. Oh my God! Like I have to send you the, I have to send you the link so you can. See. But you said that maybe PC graphics, and you say you don't want to get hype and get your. Hopes I don't want to get hype and get my hopes up. But if the demo the comes division. out, when a demo come, because at least a demo is coming out, and Final oh, Fantasy Type God. Zero is something that I want to get, so I will be willing to try it anyway. Oh my God! God, Lord, Will. Don't get mad. I'm Cut sorry. your own stuff off. I'm sorry. Lord have mercy. Miss K, look what you done did. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, you I'm think so Miss K was Beyonce or, you know, oh Alicia Keys or somebody. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Oh. 
Lynn, I was trying to so sneak cute. in. I was like, I not. know, right, girl? You can't do that around here. You you can't. You cannot well, do as that. As long as I'm in the car, you can't do that because I will recognize <laughs> you and I'll be like, oh my god, hey! Unless if I'm like in the middle of a rant or tirade yeah, or something like that. Yeah, he won't stop. Yeah, then I won't stop. In the of a rant. Yeah. What's up, Miss K? How's everybody doing? Good. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. That's great. I'm you thought you. Will ain't heard from you in six months, girl. So it's oh, my God. Oh, my God, man. I've been, I've been kind of disappointed with, with certain games, so that might be why. <laughs> girl, uh, we, yeah. you know what? I was not going to say it, but I traded yeah. in Destiny. Well, oh, well, that is two people. Yeah. It's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's mine. gone. Yeah. And Yours I'm gone? On... Yes, ma'am. What, oh, you trading crap. in Destiny? Oh, yeah, crap. I, yeah, I, I yeah, 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 yeah. I took it to Best Buy, and um, they gave me $43 yes, for it. Oh, my God. So three people traded in Destiny, and I'm trading at one Best on Friday. Buy. Yep, at, at Best, Best Buy. Buy. <laughs> and Ant is planning on trading his on Friday, too, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. Really? Everybody yeah, we, I mean, we, we tried. We tried to we play did. it. And I'm, we tried. I'm not we saying did. it's a bad game or anything. It's, it's not a bad game, but it's just... I don't know. It just didn't engage me, you know, whatever. So, like I said, I made a video about it on my Metro Redux video. Y'all need to check that out. Now, that's oh, yeah. I started watching it, then Will interrupted me with the Google Hangout video. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm with you asked me for an invite. It's like every episode I'm gonna get a chat for the rest of my life. It's like it's like it's not never ending. And hey, if, it, if, 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 if we did if we didn't love you, we wouldn't do it. You know what? Yeah, I, t I you know what? Thank you. That makes me feel so much better. I am so happy about that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um well, anyways, this you got new headphones. Yes, oh, these are actually. These I are actually noticed. Old. Well, Thank you've you. never worn them. Those well, I bad. never wore them because originally these were the. Uh, these are called the Sharkoon headphones. Yeah, I heard of those. I like and them. Those I bought. I got these. Um, I got these for like eighty bucks, but this was like a year ago, and I even did an unboxing video that just kind of like wow. disappeared on my channel. <laughs> um, uh, so I did it. Uh, it does surround sound. Yeah. And I have it plugged into the computer. It can plug into your tablet. It can plug wow. into your. Um, it can plug into your. Uh, universal. I like it. It's yeah. universal, so you can play 360 and stuff. Uh, I could use this as a microphone for PS4. But Xbox mm -hmm. One, I could use it to hear the stuff, but I can't really talk out of it. At least I can't figure it out. Oh. Um, so this, so there, so so this is definitely oh. a great headset. And now there that were doing three live viewers. There mm -hmm. were three viewers, but now there are two. So. Well, we have um, three. They, they, they keep adjusting. They come I in. I just want to say thank you, guys. Be sure to ask us questions. We will we'll answer them live on the air. Yes, we will. Okay. Yeah. And we will also shout you out, so be sure to ask mm. us questions. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank we you for watching us, guys. Thank you for hanging in there thus far. That's it. Yes, <laughs> K is back with the yeah, sound uh, effects. The K sound effects are here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, <laughs> yes we got it. This episode will have Miss K sound effects. Yes. yes. Brought to you. That's in it. Part, brought to you in part by Gamers Nation. One, two, three, four. Miss <laughs> um, K, you yes. missed the first question, so I might as well ask you just to see. Okay, so basically, a story. I, I read an article yesterday where the Final Fantasy 15 director, the new guy who's replacing the older guy, mm -hmm. um, he's popular for making the Final Fantasy 7. Uh, game and the Final Fantasy 7 Crisis Core for the PSP. So mm -hmm. he does Final Fantasy 7 stuff. So and those were really big games in the series. Mm -hmm. um, he's replacing Tatsuya Nomura, the guy who directed the Kingdom Hearts series, and mm -hmm. did all the art designs for Final Fantasy pretty much the whole entire time. Right. So so whatever. So um, anyways, um. What makes this, uh, what, what I read in this article is that he says that because Japanese is so mobile, the Japanese people are very mobile, they're on like 
they're on like trains, planes, uh, trains and buses and things like that, and they're always on a handheld console or mm -hmm. playing an arcade or playing PC or whatever. That they're always like in a place that's more convenient. Like they'll use right. laptops and things like that. So they game mostly on the go. Mm -hmm. So he thinks that if Final Fantasy 15 doesn't meet the quota in Japan and Japanese standards that it could be a signal for the end of the Japanese gaming uh, mm -hmm. console era. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel about possibly never seeing another console version of a Japanese game coming to America? That wouldn't be good for gaming because the sole reason I got into gaming was because of Japanese games. Period. You know, that's what got me into, you know, gaming. You know, we don't want that that part of gaming to die, so to speak. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be a good thing. I'm hoping that that's not true, you know. Mm -hmm. But, um, no, we need that. That's what got me started. You know, my first yeah. console was a NES, you know, and that's a Japanese-based, you know, game console. And, and that's just the way it is. Not, I, I don't want to see that go away. No, I can't see that not go at all. away. But he, I think he meant it from the Square Enix standpoint, because mm -hmm. I don't think he was making it, because I wish I still had the article. I, I had it saved, and then I lost it. Okay. Um, so, yes. Um, so that was pretty much it. I mean, we had one story, and we just kind of, like, lost it. But the thing is, is okay, all right, wait, I wanted to ask, I want to ask Denny. Denny, are you still awake? Denny. Yeah. Hey, Yay! Okay, okay, then he's been on for like the last six episodes. I wanted to ask you, what did you think of Destiny? Because I know you got it. I like it. But the, it, the only thing I don't like is they don't have much levels. Mm. You, always, you always play the same thing. Yeah. That's boring. Yes. Yeah. Yes, even in the freaking, um, what you gonna call it? There are people saying, complaining about the raids. That the raids, that they're not dropping the rare loot. That you're playing all that stuff and you don't get anything for it. Wow. Like anything at all. Ooh, we got a comment. Let's see what happened. Let's see. Three right, viewers. Right. We got three viewers. Thank you for watching. I'm trying to get to this comments right now. Um, oh, Lord. All right. Does anybody have anything they want to talk about? I try to find this comment. Yeah, I, I have something, but it's not—it's not gaming related, but it's technology related. That's, that's okay. even that's, that's good too. That's good. That's fine. you know. I, I just wanted to mention that um, Amazon is actually coming out with a new Fire HD six-inch tablet. Mm. You can actually pre-order it now. But it, it's uh, official release date is October. It says the second. Initially, I thought it was the sixteenth. So yeah, apparently wow. they must have moved it. So yeah, October second is the official release date of this tablet. You could get it in either an eight gigabyte version or a sixteen gigabyte version, both with or without special offers. Of course, it costs at least twenty thirty dollars more if you buy if you get it without special offers. I don't really care about that. Okay. They will come in an array of colors such as black, magenta or pink, white, um, citron or yellow, and cobalt, which is blue. Mm -hmm. So you have five different colors to choose from. They state that it has a fast quad-core processor up to 1.5 gigahertz. And that's, like I said, it has a six-inch display, so it's an HD display which displays 252 ppi, which is pixels per inch, at 1280 by 800. So it says it's over a million pixels, perfect for apps, movies, TV, games, and photos, and more. Oh, you also get unlimited cloud storage of your photos, any photo that's taken with the device. Mm. So I wanted to go ahead and throw that out there, too. You have both front and rear-facing cameras which um, you can take video, you can take photos or videos in uh, 1080p, so video in 1080p with the HD rear-facing camera, or you could do Skype as well. And like I said, free unlimited cloud drive storage for photos taken with any of the Fire devices. And it says you can enjoy over 33 million movies, TV shows, songs, books, whatever, you know, Netflix, play games like Minecraft, all that other good jazz. And then you can actually create profiles for 
different people in your family. So you could do up to two adults, and I want to say maybe three or four children, if I'm not mistaken. You can create unique profiles for each one. So if any, if, if one of your kids is getting on the tablet, you know, they can have their own profile. I don't have to screw up with your profile or anything like that. Um, then um, you can also, of course, they always have where you could try um, like um, Prime. They have this thing called Kindle Unlimited. That's where you can choose from over 700,000 titles and thousands of audiobooks for $9.99 a month. So that would be good for those that are into Audible. You can actually get books, um, audio books from Audible. Um, they have this one. They also have a kid's one. Mm. So they've got a new Kindle Fire HD. It's a kid's version for $150. But the value in that comes with, um, you get, it's basically the same tablet, but it comes in either uh, blue or the um, or green or pink. Oh, well, what the, does the kid's tablet have? The kid's tablet, it has a two-year, no questions asked, worry-free guarantee. Wow. Meaning, if your kid drop it, if they step on it, if, if, if you drop it, if it breaks within the two-year time frame, you can send it back to Amazon, they'll send you a new one. Finally, all, every company should do something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, it's a, it's a real tablet. It's not a toy. It only come, it's a, it's a seven, it's either six or seven, seven inch tablet. It only come in eight, eight, eight gigs, though. You get one year of Amazon free time unlimited. That is good for the children because what that is is basically, um, let's see, that's basically uh, a subscription for children, of course, with over 5,000 kid-friendly books, movies, TV shows, educational apps, and games. Mm -hmm. And um, so they can, I mean, like, they can watch, like, I don't know if it's Nickelodeon. Yeah, they can watch, like, Nick Jr., they can watch um, <laughs> PBS, Nickelodeon, Disney. Look up you know. Park. No, I'm playing. No, I'm, it's, no. no it's really no, cool. Know, but this one, it comes with like one of those rugged cases for children. So if they drop oh, it or whatever, okay. it's, it's got that, you know, that extra padding around the edges and stuff. Just in case so it gets <laughs> Yeah. You know how kids do. They like to throw yeah. stuff. They so need yeah, that type of technology for adults too. I mean, come on, right. some adults are like, I agree. Really, I, I totally agree. Mm. But the one for us, for the adults, it starts out at ninety nine ninety nine. It's if cheaper get, than the kids' version. <laughs> yeah, see, you don't have that unlimited that free time thing. That's like a fifty dollar uh, uh, value oh, there. Yeah. Not to mention the two year. Two year worry free protection where if you if the kid drop it or break it or you break it, you can get it replaced mm -hmm. for free. Yeah, that's good. You can't even do that with your own tablet. Nope. Oh, no. So, you know, ours it, it the eight gigabyte one is um ninety nine ninety nine and then the sixteen gigabyte is one nineteen, which mm -hmm. is not bad. Of course you know I had to pre order it, so I pre ordered the, <laughs> I pre I pre ordered the pink one. I pre ordered the pink one. <laughs> uh, exactly. Um, because see, it has like it's 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 more it, it's faster than the older ones than all the older ones, and um, it has a six inch screen. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, for ninety nine bucks yeah. at a eight for an eight gig, mm -hmm. and it's only like twenty dollars more for an additional eight gig. Wow. So yeah, that's not cool. I mean, that, that's not bad at all. I mean, that's that's actually good. Oh, and good. the fact that you get free unlimited cloud storage. Some people are just maniacs when it comes to taking pictures. And for you to be able to have mm -hmm. those pictures, like for instance, if you have the kid, the um, Amazon Fire TV, you could be able to look at your pictures on your TV through your Amazon Fire. If you have the phone, you, you know, it's kind of like I want to say uh, another branded. At, you know, phone or whatever, where it syncs over all of your devices. Mm -hmm. so, Does it start with an A and end with an E? Maybe. 
Okay, I was just, I was just checking. That's all. That's all. I was checking. But it's, I, I think it's, it's gonna be really good, especially for those that are looking for, looking to, uh, for budget, uh, friendly devices. Um, it has Fire OS four, okay. uh, which is called Sangria. So uh-huh. it, it it basically enhances the Android experience yeah. with yeah. the deeply integrating off um. Uh, um, OS software content Amazon Cloud. So, um, okay. and like I said, it has the, the family library is something that'll be coming soon, and that is okay. basically. Well, I'm not gonna go into like a whole lot of detail, but I just wanted to point out, you know, that they are in fact coming out with another tablet. I believe Amazon is doing their thing. They are doing it up. Not okay. to mention they got a new Kindle. That's coming out next month too, Damn. and it, that starts out at seventy nine ninety nine. That's affordable, and that's what people are gonna jump. Yes, off. and yes. it's like a yeah. it's a paper white. It's a paper white. You know, right. if I'm gonna read a book, I want an e reader. I do not want to read a book on a tablet. Nope. There are so many different things you could use a tablet for. I understand it's the versatility, but I prefer to use my tablet for other things. I want an e reader with the e-ink display that looks like actual paper with ink on it. It's Mm -hmm. really awesome. I'm so for Kindle, um, the Kindle line. They've got a new one called the Voyage 6, and that that one is high resolution. That one is Mm $199.99. But the fact that they have one that's coming out for $79, and it's, uh, it's, it's a Kindle. It's an. It has that e-ink display. It doesn't have the backlight, you know, the backlit um, mm-hmm. screen, but it's still, you know, it still has that e-ink display. But can you see it under? Though? Yeah, I mean, of so course you can you still see it even though it's not backlit. Like if I was out in the sun, can I see it? Well, the way the way the the way it's made, it's made so yeah, you can see it. It won't have that glare on it. Oh, like, uh, so it's like anti. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, so you know, glare. like, like with your tablet, it's gonna have that glare because of the gorilla display. Uh-huh. But this, it doesn't have that. So you know, it it really, it literally looks like you're reading a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's and cool. And it's it's really nice. I've always wanted one. I'll hold off on that since I'm getting the tablet. <laughs> I'll get it later. Yeah. But I, I am gonna get it because I've always wanted one with an e-ink display. But I I will get it even. Black Friday. Wait till Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I just want to say, too, y'all, you know, hang in there because I'm going to be putting out a crap ton of videos like I did for that trio. So they coming. <laughs> they are coming. I saw a funny comment. What? Ooh, what they say? So, it was about you. <laughs> it said, congratulations on your new job at Amazon, Liam. <laughs> and I was trying to tell you, I was trying to tell you uh, that you sound like an advertisement, but I didn't you know get a what? chance. I would but... do it. I would do it, but I, it would have to be part time though, because I'm not giving up She's my like, bread. But so Amazon needs to send, send iPod One reviewer. A a review unit. For free. Can, review everything no. that she does. All the Kindles and everything. Give it yeah. to her. Send it to her. I, I, hey, you know what? I'd be happy if they did something like that. I would review it and not give it away. Yeah. Oh yeah. I really could would. I could bless somebody. Like. <laughs> no, I could bless somebody. You know, because everybody can't afford everything, and yeah. I could bless somebody with some with with that particular with a newer device. You know, for them to be able to enjoy themselves. I, w- I wouldn't keep them. I would give them away. Okay. So okay. you know, I think I think then it's good to give back. Then we could do a giveaway on the channel. Yeah, we yep. could do giveaways yeah. on the channel. Yep. So Amazon, give back. If, if you ever watch this video, you yep. know, hook us up. I'll, stuff, you know. Yeah. You know, love it. I'll keep it. Do a little do a little review video and give it away. Yep. And so yeah, look at us. We're advertising yes. and we're advertising companies that we're not even in. Well, <laughs> I like, I, I feel Amazon do make quality products. I've never had an issue with any um, product I've ever bought from them. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, and I, I have I have a Kindle, I have a, a Fire, you know, so, and I have the, the Fire TV. I, I'm, I'm, you know, content with Amazon. I like Amazon. You're buying everything on Amazon you ever saw yeah. free. 
I love it. You hey, you speak Amazon. with your wallet. You That's speak so with your wallet. True. I have true. spoken. You have spoken. Got it. Um, <laughs> Fred, what, you wanted to show us something? What is that? Yeah. Wait, let, me, let me click on it. Oh, Luke Cave. I can't see the rest of the words. Luke Cave. Well, what does, what does the rest say? It says, Luke Cave, get back. You're messing up with the spawn rates. <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, we actually had some questions in the middle of of uh, of Lynn advertising for Amazon. Yay! <laughs> questions. Okay, so we have a question from Wolf Flow. What's up, Hi, Wolf? Wolf. What's going on, Wolf? Um. All right. So he says, "What what games have you all clocked the most hours into?" Now I guess I'm not sure if he means overall or just recently. So I guess we're gonna just go with both. So let's just uh, so I'm gonna ask the question uh, to Dirty. So Dirty, what was the game overall like in your whole entire life? Have you ex have you ever clocked the most hours into a video game? Oh wow! <laughs> I know that that's like a really vague question, and then I'm gonna ask you also what was the current game that you're spending the most amount of time on? Okay, I can say I, I can say the current would have to I be. I can answer that one. <laughs> 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 it'd have to be uh, Destiny and um, 2K14 okay. uh, right now um, ooh what I clocked in for back in the day yes oh, like no, no, I mean it could be something recent if it's been yeah. a while but like it could just be like just all over like all over the spectrum of games that you've ever like that you clocked the most time whether it be a, like you played a fighting game over and over and over again you know things like that Mm. I would have to say that I could remember back in the day on the uh, N64, it was uh, Killer Instinct, Gold, and oh. um, Perfect Dark. Oh, yes! What's up? I'm sorry, yeah. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm, just, excited to hear, I'm just excited to hear those names again, you know? <laughs> What's up, Flo? <laughs> Thank you, Flo. Thank you, Flo, for the question. Um, also, Thuggy Plus, I know you're watching because you asked a question. I sent you an invite before the show started, so it should be on your uh, Facebook. So if you want to join, you're more than welcome to join. Um, uh, so, Denny, what, what game did you spend the most hours playing, like, ever? I don't know. I play so many games. <laughs> uh, Would you say Tomb Raider? Yes. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it has to be really? your favorite I game. Play, I play a lot of. I spend most of, most of my time at fighting games. Wow. Like Tekken and uh, Soul Calibur Five. Mm -hmm. um, but mm. yes, I could say Tomb Raider is one of them because I played all of the Tomb Raider games. Mm -hmm. uh, like have you ever played like one Tomb Raider game, like a hundred hours, four hundred hours? No, no, that yeah. would say a fighting game. <laughs> okay. But recently, I've been spending most of my time when I'm free on The Sims Four because it's so addicting. Oh, that game okay, so. looks fun. <laughs> yeah, it is fun. fun. <laughs> All right, so The Sims 4 is recently, and you would say, what, what, what was your what was your overall game? It would be Tekken or Soul Calibur 5. Okay, Tekken or Soul Calibur 5. Okay. All right, Lynn, what is the most recent game that you logged a lot of hours into? Animal Crossing. Really? For which which uh, which one? The one on the 3DS. So New Leaf. Yep. Okay. All right. And what what game overall did you spend the most hours on? Nino Cooney. Oh, Nino Cooney! Oh. oh my God! Oh. That game is good. Yeah, I finally, good. finally, games that I like. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't gotten around to it. Wow. No, you need. Oh to my God, it, that game is awesome. You need to play it. it. Um. Uh, Miss K, what is the recent game that you spent a lot of time on? My recent game right now is uh, Metro Redux. Uh -huh. 
my overall hours I've spent in, in on on a game has probably been the Grand Theft Auto series. I love sandboxes. I uh, love so, so the series in general, or was it a particular Grand Theft Auto? Well, Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah, I played oh, a so lot. Days off work for that one. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trent. What game recently did you put a lot of hours into? Wow, that's a hard question. Actually, you said recent. Just like recent, like even if it was like twenty hours this week, and that was like the most gameplay you got. So it could just be your most. Oh, recent. the most recent. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a hard one. I know, I forgot. I played too many games. I know so. you played The Sims. You played Spider Man. You played Mario 3D World. I guess it would have to be Spider Man, even so over short. Yeah. Wow, we got six viewers, people. Wow, this yep. is the most that I yep. lost to. <laughs> Maybe because right. it's your Twitch following. Who oh, no, we lost another? Remember to follow Will, that Keyblade fan. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you can follow me on my Twitch if you guys want to. That's fine. I'm going to be live streaming Hyrule Warriors on Friday, so be sure to check that out if you guys want to see more of me playing and hitting a button over and over again. <laughs> um, uh, what, what about a long-term game? What game did you spend the longest playing? Mm, it has to be the Sim series. Okay. Final Fantasy series, Kingdom Hearts series, and along with Miss K, Grand Theft Auto series. Damn. Oh my so those God. are like all my favorite series. Yeah. Oh, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, there we go. But what would you say that you... Is there a one game that you can pinpoint that was the one that you spent the absolute most time on? It had to probably be Final Fantasy X or Kingdom Hearts 1. Okay. Oh, all right, so all right. Um, hmm, for me, uh, recently it's the Super Smash Brothers demo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been playing that like like a maniac, practicing beating nothing but level nines and and just trying to learn every character's combos and all that stuff like that. And I have to say that a game that I spent. My overall time with, I would have to say, hands down, goes to Super Smash Brothers Melee, but um, but uh, or Melee, whatever you want to call it. But overall, in series Final Fantasy, the collect, the Final Fantasy X collection, that was a long time. The Devil May Cry series, a long time. The Ninja Gaiden series, a long time. Uh, uh Shemu. Um, oh god, I could go on. Um, what did you name one? Hearts. Like you asked me. But if I were to name one, it, it, would, it, would, it would have to be. It would have to be. Well, because everybody named more than one, so I felt like I should. Yeah. Be, you know, I should name. Yeah, one. we I named kept two. going on and on too. Rock band. Um, yeah. Me too. <laughs> so like, so Guitar Hero three. I don't know. It would have to be a tie between Guitar Hero three and Super Smash Brothers Melee. Uh, because uh, I, I, I just love Super Smash Bros. Melee. But I would have to say maybe the edge goes to Guitar Hero because you can play that by yourself and still have yeah. fun. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I would have to say Guitar Hero 3 would have to be the game. Um, not 2? Not Well, 2, I didn't get into the series until 2, and then oh, 3 came okay. out recently after that because I got the 360 one, and then I was playing 3 like a madman and was trying to get better. I was addicted to 2. I, no, I love two, but number three was just, in my opinion, I just liked the layout and the songs and how hard every single one was, and I wanted to be really good at it. <laughs> that was just me, though. That was just me. Um, Dougie has a question for us, everybody. All right. Uh, guys, so what's your runner-up? What is your runner-up for your uh, – what's your runner-up for your game of the year? Runner-up for game of the year? What would be the game of the year? Um. Okay. I, I well, he says runner up, so I I don't know because Destiny is not a runner. Destiny is not <laughs> number one on my damn list, despite what everybody said. Hey, Thuggy, now that you're What's here, up, Thuggy? we can actually ask you the question. What's up, Thuggy? Hey, Thuggy. Thuggy. What's up? What's up, Thuggy? I think his mic is muted. Yeah. Thuggy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
Girl, you sound like you're in the country. <laughs> <laughs> like you call it a pig hole, but love. What's up? What's going on, Dougie? Just chilling. Just chilling. Yeah. Okay, you asked us a question, <laughs> and you said, "What is your runner-up for your game of the year?" Do you mean like what's the second best game, or what? What is our game of the year? Yeah, ba- yeah. What, what's what game do you? What, well, basically, what game do you think will be a game of the year? Oh, what game do we think is going to be game of the year? I know Will's answer. Will probably answer Smash Bros. <laughs> I would like it to be Smash Brothers, but I, really don't, I think it's good. I don't even think it can be nominated because it comes out so late. Wow. So, most likely, Super Smash Brothers will be next year's game of the year. <laughs> well, no, actually, that could go to Uncharted, or it can go to The Witcher Three, or it can go to it can go to a lot of it can go to Bloodborne. It can go to a lot of. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. But for this year. I you mean, had so much hype that, like I was saying earlier, like, you had Watch Dogs was hype, Titanfall. I would was probably hype. say maybe. If anything, I would say Titanfall will get best multiplayer hands down, um, but that's because of the lack of choices that we had. <laughs> Watch Dogs would not get game of the year. I would say Destiny would get it, but the reason why is because of the fact that of the hype that's built and it's the only one that's graphically good. Um, I don't want to say Destiny, but I have a feeling that that's the one that's going to be. No! Mario Kart 8! Final answer! <laughs> <laughs> that, is game. Game, so. yeah, that is my game of the year, Mario Kart 8. That would be my personal, but I think it's going to Destiny or... Um, if Nintendo takes game of the year, oh my god, I hope so. I really hope so. It would be nice, you know. It would be nice. But, uh, uh, Dirty, what do you think is taking Game of the Year out of all the games that came out this year? I don't even remember all of them, but, yeah. Um, they're probably going to be Grand Theft Auto Five. Wait, the remaster? Really? Yep. I don't think they're eligible. I don't think they're eligible Because that's Last anything. of Us can't, can't be in yeah. Tomb Raider. Yeah. No, no, they're not eligible. So, oh, Grand Theft Auto not. Mm. No, they can't be eligible. They can't because they already got the rewards, and that would be terrible if one of them won again. <laughs> that means that no good action game they had to remaster it. Just to, <laughs> well, that might be true. I mean, it's true. Nothing I can think that deserves it except for except for Mario Kart. That's the only yeah, game I can Mario think Kart. of that I that. But uh, yeah. Halo Master Chief Collect. Sunset Overdrive could possibly get it if it's as good as, is it, is it as, good as everybody says. Because I think a Sunset Overdrive is still eligible for it. Yeah. But no. um, no, it's not. It's not eligible. I think it should because October, because the game awards are in in December, so Ooh. October, the end of October is still enough time to do wow. that. Bayonetta could also possibly get it, but I seriously doubt it. It'll probably okay. get like best action game. Mm-hmm. You know, Little Big Planet is not eligible. Yeah. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition, no, um, is not eligible. So anything in November is pretty much not eligible at all. Kingdom Hearts Remix, not going to be eligible because it comes out in December. Uh, and none of the Pokemon games. Unless if, yeah, because they were eligible last... No, they weren't eligible last year, so Pokemon games can possibly... Take it as best handheld. Can um, The Walking Dead Season 2 be eligible? Yes, it's unfortunately... Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If it was never eligible in the last one, it's eligible this year. Yeah, because I think that release, they re- they're they going to release Season 2. Okay. And well, it's completion. What if the, I know the Season 1 actually won Game of the Year, didn't it? Like, like, yeah, most ago? likely then. Yeah. Oh yeah! You, oh, I think I got Shadow a list of Light, right here. Shadow of Light could also get like best RPG. Yeah. Um, best fighting game would probably go to what? Not Injustice because Killer Instinct, <laughs> Killer Killer Instinct, Instinct. probably, but um, 
Uh, Killer Instinct. No, it'll probably go to Street Fighter Four, the uh, Ultra Super Mega Ultimate Edition, or whatever it's called. Is that out? It's going to come out, I oh, think. I don't know. Well, it's not coming out for PS4. It's a PS3 game. It's just like oh. an update, right? I think. And um, hold up. Oh, we got another comment. Hold up. But first, we're going to continue with this question. Um, oh, Dweezy. I hope I said your name right. Please don't get mad if I said it wrong. Dweezy says, hey. Hey, Dweezy, what's going on? Dweezy. Hey. 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 Uh, hey. Hey, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and we will try to answer it. Um, we'll try to answer it as soon as possible. Um, so, Denny, what do you think is getting Game of the Year? And remakes cannot, don't count. What do you think is getting Game of the Year? Out of all games that came out this year, what do you think is going to take who, who, What do you think is going to take came out this year. Uh, there was Destiny, there was Watch Dogs, there's The Evil Within that's coming out, there's going to be Shadow... No, 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 that got delayed. Um, there's Mario Kart 8, there's... Hold up, let me see if there's actually a category for this real quick. Let me see. Let me see what's actually up for Game of the Year. Yeah. Game of the Year 2014. Let's see. Grand Theft Auto Five won last year. Um... Who won? I mean, who with who list? Was it IGN or? I'm looking at GameStop's list. GameSpot's list. Oh. All right, so here it is. Here it is. So the game of the year looks to be this of 2014. It's going to be, um, uh, it's going to be The Wolf Among Us, Divinity: The Original Sin, Wolfenstein: The New Order, Mario Kart 8, The Last of Us: Left Behind, and Shovel Knight. I'll give it to Wolfenstein. So that means that Destiny can't even compete. It wow. can't compete yet. Um, that's kind of sad if that's true. But like, I think honestly, I mean, this this may not be the final list of what Game of the Year is, but it just says Road to Game of the Year. So I don't know. I heard that Shovel Knight is really good. Okay, so really? Yeah, I heard that Shovel Knight's good. And here's what Metacritic said. There's a bunch of games that. They have to, like, the last one. Last of Us Remastered. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Trent. I'm sorry. There's a comment that someone left said Transistor. Transistor. Yeah, that's another wow. one. That one and Child of Light are pretty big. Child game. of Light. There's, but the thing is that I, I think Transistor will win Best Indie Game, in my personal opinion. I believe Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition is going to be competing against that, and so is Octodad and Dragon Oh, Earth. no. No, no, no. Yeah. See, the game. thing is, is that oh. I honestly think Game of the Year belongs to Mario Kart. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like it's, it's the game I play the most on. It's the one I play the one and most, and compared to all these reviews that Media Critic has said, Mario Kart is the only one that got a 9.1, followed by Shovel Knight, a 9.0, and then everything else got like a 6.5, an 8, a 7, a 6. Oh. Nothing else got a nine except for two Nintendo games. See, I mean, like seriously. So I feel like Mario deserves it. He does. Oh no, Shovel Knight isn't really just only a Nintendo game. It's it's also multi-plat on everything. But it got a seven point eight on PC, but on Wii U it got. No, a no, no, no. Will I, um, what? Shovel Knight? Shovel Knight is just for Wii U and 3DS for right now. I know they said they want. They was thinking about maybe oh, well, sending it over to the here. other. Wow. Well, here's the games. Here's but here's all the games that came out this year, pretty much. I'm not gonna name all of them, but I'm just gonna name pretty much everything. There's The Last of Us Remastered, V V V V V V V V V, Gemstones, Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft, Dark Souls 2, Threes, Table Tennis Touch, Shovel Knight for the 3DS, Fez for Vita, Rayman Legends Xbox One, PS4, Kentucky Road Zero Act 3 PC. Final Fantasy VI iOS, Dark Souls 2 PC, Dark Souls 2 PS3, Diablo 3 Ultimate Edition PS4, Bug Heroes 2, Rayman Legends 4, I'm um, 2, I'm um, PS4, <laughs> Metro 2033 Redux for PC, Fez PS4, Mikey Boots iOS, Guacamelee for the 
you know, for all the consoles. Minecraft PS4 edition, Velocity 2X, Vita, and PS3, and PS4. Out of the Park, Baseball 15, The Journey Down, Chapter 2, Monument Valley, Monsters Ate My Birthday Cake, <laughs> Child Light, 80 Days, Hazard uh, and Light, my uh, Biancula, Bion- Battle Heart Legacy, Mario Kart, oh Game, my goodness. Alone, Shovel Knight, the, the Last of Us Left Behind, Warstone, Heroes of Warcraft. I feel like Last of Us is going to win for you know, Probably. Um, Waka Melee, uh, Castle Doom Bad, Rules, uh, The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky, Joe Deaver's Lone Wolf. God, I've never even heard of any of these games. Valiant exactly. Hearts Great War, uh, Towerfall Ascension. Uh, I the, like the, that one. That one's a good one. Pixel Junk Shooter Ultimate. Uh, Astabreed? What? What is that really a game? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's spelled A-S-T-E-B-R-E-E-D. There's wow. the Final Fantasy X and X2 Remaster for Vita. There's uh, Monster Hunter for oh, Final Remasters. Quest. Titanfall, uh, Dragon Quest, uh, what is that? Uh, four chapters for the iOS. Um, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, Rezo Gun, Bravely Default, South Park The Stick of Truth. Um, Bravely Default is good too. Mm-hmm. South Park Secret Truth yeah. was really good. I feel like I feel like that should win an award for, for like best like graphics in a video game. That game was funny. Oh, oh it, was funny. it was funny. It was so funny. bad. It was so bad. Kids cannot play that game. No, no especially that oh one scene. Yes. No, kids cannot play that one scene in that game. That was no. funny. Oh my god, that game is hilarious. Your parents are doing it, and all of a sudden you're dodging your dad's. Yes! 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 I guess it's been long enough, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really a spoiler. Yeah, yeah. It is, so, sorry, that spoiler. game is hilarious. Look, it's been plenty of time since that game came out. If you haven't played it yet, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. So we might uh, as well spoil the other game called Watch. I no, just we already did no, that. I don't want to. <laughs> I re- we already did a spoiler. We are, I know, that, I know. That, check that video out. Yeah, check that video out. You're going to hear me like go on the complete rant. Hey, Trey had to bring it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. If that game wins Game of the Year, it is done. If by any chance it hell little bit that it wins Game of the Year, words cannot express the amount of anger that I will feel at that time. <laughs> Mario Kart 8 got robbed, and I, be- and I call by that they wanted a PlayStation or Xbox One game to take it over a Nintendo game. They refused a Nintendo game to take it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I freaked out there. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Oh, just the they idea. Just, like, when um, Twilight Princess won Game of the Year and everybody thought that it was something else they thought should have won Game of the Year except Besides, I just um, deserved it. I don't care what anybody said. It was. It was actually a good game, but a lot of people was mad that it was a Nintendo game and it was a a Wii a Wii game at that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh just, wow. Yeah, Nintendo knows how to do good gameplay on their stuff. People are just judging games based off of their freaking graphics. And the thing is, is that you know what? People are like say, oh, I don't know. It's because Nintendo games are too kiddie. Whatever. You know what? No, I'm sick and tired of that comparison, kitty or not. Look, I'm an adult, and all of you are adults, and you all own a Wii U. So yep. you know what? Literally, it doesn't matter. Nintendo is timeless, and is, it's for everybody else. For all the new generation people out there who look at Nintendo as, you know, as a kitty system, I feel so bad for you because you are out on something because you're judging it before you even try it. That's all I'm saying. I greatly enjoy Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I, like, I like I like yeah. I like their consoles and their handhelds. And you mm-hmm. best believe I'm getting the new 3DS next year if it de- if whenever they decide to bring it here to the states. Because I mean, Xenoblade Chronicles, hello, mm-hmm. most <laughs> definitely, yep. and the new Monster Hunter. Yes. I mean, come on. That is hours upon hours upon hours of gameplay and and, you know, alone. Tamagotchi Life. I think that um I think that that, that, that Xenoblade um Chronicles for the uh, new three D S I think it will actually sell well because 
I mean, even though Nintendo did an exclusive deal with GameStop, a lot of people, like, you know, they had to spend way too much money, you know what I'm saying, just to get or even find a copy of that game. I so, lucky have I it on the handheld. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I lucked up and found a copy at GameStop, and it was actually like fifty one dollars. Wow! So I, you really got yeah, your mind. Fifty bucks? What? It's a rare game. You might yeah, as well. That's still game. ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <sighs> and the and the crazy thing about it is, um, it was selling for ninety before. Yeah. yeah. And when it was selling for ninety, um, uh, I think it was going for ninety used or something like that. Yeah, ninety used because they didn't sell it new anymore. Up. Mm-mm. GameStop was opening the games up and and selling them for you so they can get the money. Yeah, oh, giving, the, giving the the profit to Nintendo. Yeah, that is so bad. That is so bad. You see, this is why I don't I don't really deal with GameStop anymore. Oh, That's God, shady. That, yeah, no, that that is, that is very shady, is shady practices, mm-hmm. and I I no I don't support no, but, that at but, all. But, no, but but GameStop but GameStop got called out for it. Big time. Mm-hmm. Big, big time. They got caught out for it. Yeah. And the thing is, is that now that this Chronicles is coming out for the for the 3DS... I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll get the everybody Chronicles. Everybody can wait. Everybody can yeah. wait. I, I mean, I would rather have a portable Chronicles with me at all times. Sure. Oh, my God. that The graphics, I mean, oh, that game is going to be awesome. I mean, it, oh, well, I, I'm playing the game right now, and it, it, I have to say, it's really, really, really awesome. Really, really I awesome. Just, I love JRPGs. I really do. They they they, they have tons and die. tons and tons of content. You know, you don't feel slighted, you don't feel cheated, and you have more than enough to do and level up your characters. See, I like the leveling up aspect. I like, you know, getting new armor and, 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 and you know, things like that and maxing out your armor sets and things. I just love stuff like that. And then all of your... um. Your weapons and upgrades, and I mean stuff like that. I just love it. You know, it, it makes mm. you think. You know, and and it makes you think, and then you got to figure out. Okay, well, I need to go here to do this, to craft this, to do that, that. You know, and I I just love it. It it makes you think. It's not just a hack and slash. You know, there's more to it than that. You know, and there's story, and it's gonna be good. Mm. Okay. Uh. Dougie, since you asked the question, since you asked the question, I want to know what you think. What do you think is taking game of the year? I think his mic is muted. Yeah. Meanwhile, Boss left the message. Uh, he said that he had to stay late for a quarter or something. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, no. I think like I think he was talking like like a football quarter. I'm not sure. Is there a football game going on like right now? I There's don't. always football games going on. Well, no, I'm like, because it is football season. <laughs> yeah, it is. Football, so I'm just saying, like, is there a football game? Wait a minute. Is it Monday? No, is it Tuesday? What day is it? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> Do they have Wednesday night football? I don't think so. I think it's mostly Thursday night, Monday night, I think. Yeah, I thought it was just Monday night, but I don't know. But I think he meant fourth quarter for something else. I'm not sure. Yeah. But, boss, thank you. I'm sorry. You gotta forgive me. If you meant football, then I understand. But if you meant if you meant work or something else like school or something, I'm sorry. Yes, um, I'm sorry. I'm completely not there today. <laughs> but that's just me every day, you know. Honestly, um, Dougie, what is your game of the year? Dougie. Dougie. <laughs> Dougie. Dougie, 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 <laughs> Dougie times the coefficient of, of x, you know, I mean, come on, what? Don't <laughs> forget like, your parabolas and your, your, he oh, dropped. He lost, he lost you the done made him mad, he gone. He's <laughs> he just got disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to get his attention, hopefully. He <laughs> he's probably trying to reconnect. I think That's he's funny. reconnecting. Because he had, a, he had issues or something, I, I guess he yeah. had, um, 
Um, hopefully he's not mad. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's not mad. Hey, Thuggy. 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 <laughs> Miss K, you a trip. <laughs> I know. Go, call him home, girl. Call him home. Thuggy, <laughs> right. I, I, I don't know if there's something wrong with your mic. Yeah, we hear you. Oh, yeah, there we go. go. Uh, what, what's your game of the year? Hmm? What's your game of the year? Oh, I think mine is going to be either the Fancy Life or the new Persona game that's coming out. The game! Wait, the new yes. Persona game ain't coming out till next year, though. Yeah, it got one coming out for the 3DS. Oh, yeah, they do. That's right. How did I forget this? Uh-uh. I don't think I don't think that because you got person. Smash on the brain. That's yes, right. I do got that's Smash right. on the brain. <laughs> Speaking of Smash Brothers, did you guys see the commercials? I saw no. one of them. There's a bunch of these commercials. Wow. I think it's so funny. It has like this dad, right? And he's like, um, it, it's like it's so funny because it's like the slogan is "Settle it and smash." So they have people like fighting over like a bus seat or a last slice of pizza, and they go "Settle it and smash," and then they bring out the 3ds, and then they fight and stuff. And it's so cool. They had this dad, and then like he was like training on the bus. He's like, "Yes, tornado uppercut!" <laughs> like that. And then he goes home, and he's dressed up like Little Mac. Opens the door, and then his son's like, "What are you wearing?" And, and then it's like, then he then he's like, "Little Mac." And then and stuff like that. And then after that, he, he beats his son and stuff. And then he <laughs> out of nowhere and starts, like, wedding him and says, you won, you won, you won. And then the other one was, like, the girl. She's like, hey, you hand over that last piece of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the kids are like, and then the kids are like, they're like, no. They're like, no. And then she, then she does this, and then she has them. Then she turns, like, into a man for a second. Settle it and smash! <laughs> <laughs> Will is so animated. I tell you. And they're so, so, she goes like this. So she like does this with Kirby. And then the other guy has Charizard. The other one has Mario. And the other one has like um, 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 a Mega Man. And then they fight. And then the girl is like this. She does this with her 3DS. She goes like this. With the pizza in one hand. And then the, 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 the other. And she goes... And, walks away. and I'm like, okay. I gotta look these up on YouTube. I haven't, I haven't seen them yet. They are funny. I still think that nothing can beat the N64 Super Smash Brothers commercial where it was like all three, like it was like Donkey Kong, Pikachu, Mario, and Yoshi, and they were all like holding hands, running, through, frolicking through the field, and then Mario just wanted to be a freaking asshole and trips Yoshi, and then all of a sudden they just start beating the hell out of each other. <laughs> And then Pikachu is flying up in the air. <laughs> and then they're playing that song like, Me and you can never be the only one for you. I don't know the I don't know the words, but it's like so happy together. <laughs> and the record like, oh, I love it. So nothing can beat that commercial. I absolutely love that commercial every time it came on, and that's the reason why I bought the game. Yeah. Wow. No, yeah. That was no because I didn't hear of what Super Smash Brothers was in N sixty four and I got it day one because I saw that commercial. Wow. And I'm like, oh my god, it's like I have to get this game. The power it was a fighting game. I'm like, oh my god, this is so cool. I marketing. Marketing. What, what happened? Marketing what happened? They fell off of the marketing marketing they fell wheel off, but wagon. I think that this new commercial thing is working in their favor. Like yeah, if they literally, so. if they literally put this like on every like YouTube page that you can stumble across that has ads, oh my god, this could sell a lot. <laughs> it could sell a lot. Like settle it and smash. And you'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> Y'all need to say that at work. Y'all need to say that at work. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> every time. That would be awesome. Every time. Awesome. When I say, when, when me and Lynn have an argument on a show, I'll be like, settle it and smash. <laughs> no, we wouldn't do that because you kick my ass and that'd be it. Every time. <laughs> That, that would not be a fair fight. That's no, not a fair fight. It would be fight. funny if everybody got Super Smash Brothers on here and we just and we just decided like you know like we get into an argument and say well we got to guess who's right whoever and we yeah. like, you know what let's settle it in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then we just record it. Oh, I could just totally. Oh my god. Well, you know what? They, they need to bring that guy back um, for the uh, the intro after the intro is over. Like he did in Melee. Where he's like, Super I mean, he, Smash! Yeah, he just, he just went all out. Whoever that guy was, 
they they need to get him a, a award for that because he went all out on that. Oh God, man, that is like that's like let's get ready to rumble. That's almost like the same thing. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, but I love, I just love that game was fun. Oh my God, it was so fun. Oh my God, my favorite. Ready to part. rumble. Yep. Ready, ready to rumble, rumble round for, two. For the, for the deep, yeah, for the, with for, uh, Michael Dream Jackson. <laughs> oh Michael my God! Yes. Wait, what? Yes. Yes. Michael Jackson was in Ready to Rumble too. Yep. I got it on the yep. drink. Yeah. Ready to Rumble round oh, two. Is he going, is he going to <laughs> His taunts were funny. His taunts were so oh, funny. Oh no, he was actually yeah. a, char- a playable character. Yeah. Really? Uh huh. <laughs> I remember just playing as like Afro Thunder. I think that was his name. I had PS2, honey. PS2. P- well, I played. I played something on Dreamcast. My brother had it, and I only P- played as S- like two. he only had like two characters or something, and it was wow. like Afro Thunder and somebody else. Oh my God, Afro Thunder was a trip. He like, <laughs> <laughs> loved it. Oh my God, so many great memories, so many yep. great memories, and I and I feel like you know what this, I have to men- I have to make a mention, even though I made a mention of this earlier in the episode. De- de- games like Destiny scare the living crap out of me. They really do because I don't want an unfinished game, and then I have to pay for the rest of it DLC. over a span of ten years. DLC. DLC. I don't like DLC. You know what? It would have been cool. I'm an absolute hypocrite. <laughs> it would have been cool if they actually um, this DLC that's actually coming out for that costs thirty five bucks or forty bucks. This should have been free. It. You know, just gave yeah. it to them for free. Yeah, you should, I'm you saying it's a ten game. year thing going for this Destiny <laughs> game. You give us two free out of ten years. Come right. on. Right. I think they're gonna give stuff out for free. They're gonna add more modes and things like that. But I it's too late. It's too late people. for me. It's too late for me. You ain't gonna I get me back. You are not. But I wonder. Back. I wonder how many people that have pre-ordered this game, which I was waiting on. I told y'all in one of the other previous videos exactly when I pre-ordered this game, and you see how long it took me to trade it in. I wonder Damn. how many people actually did that. Turn around and traded it in. Mm-hmm. You know, I got my character up to a level 11. I basically saw basically what what there is to see, you mm-hmm. might as well say, in the game because it's so repetitious. Yeah. And, it's, and, it's, and it's more fun to play with friends and to play by yourself and come across randoms. Right. And so then it's, it's not as engaging when you're playing by yourself. Right. And you can't always play with people that you want to play with because everybody's not, not available you know, at the same time. Right. So then you kind of lose your steam of wanting to play because it's like, well, you know, you can tell. Across. You can tell whether a game is going to be great, and and that is going to have longevity because any time that you take out the time to, like, set a, set aside a day or whatever, or how many hours to play, that's how you can tell the game is good. And even though we tried, we really did. You know, everybody that's listening, it's not the Gamers Nation didn't try to play Destiny. We did. We And we played some good matches, but it, it, I guess we all got the same feeling. It just didn't engage us, and we do play games together. You know, mm-hmm. now we'll get on Mario Kart 8, chop it up, and we will have a blast. Yeah. And we can play that for hours. Every time. I'm still having fun, you know. We can <laughs> play for hours. We can, we can play for like three or four hours and not even realize that we played that long. It's a feeling. It's a feeling that you have. And as a gamer, I guess I'm just passionate. We all are. We're just passionate about gaming, good games, having fun. And, you know, like I said, I'm not putting Destiny down. It just didn't engage me like that. You know, I'm, mm-hmm. I guess I'm not getting hyped anymore. I told you guys I'm not getting hyped anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm I don't blame next, you. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for that next game that will give us the same feeling, and I got a feeling that Super Smash Brothers will be that next game. What? You're not I'm, a fighter, though. Yeah. Hey, I'm just going to have to learn. You know, no, are, no, you, no, are you going to get both? No, 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 are you going to no. get both? You got to get both, Miss K. So if you get both, oh, if you get it for the 3DS and for the Wii U, keep in yeah. mind, and all of you guys out there, if you don't know, you got to buy both in order to get the free soundtracks from Club Nintendo once you oh, register I think it's once you register both yeah. of them for the mm-hmm. 3DS and for the Wii U, you get the free soundtracks, so be sure to do that. Even though you will essentially be paying for the same game twice, 
Right. Well, wait, 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 wait. Music, but having people, one portable, having music. one portable, having mm -hmm. one portable, and one that you play on your console, right? That is not a bad deal at all. No, that's true. And if you get and then for ninety nine bucks, which is still a better deal than Destiny, only giving you two DLC packs. This game comes with forty nine playable characters, and that is if you're not including the alternate costumes. Right. There's like sixty something characters in this game if you include wow. alternate costumes. It's a lot of content. There so is so content. much content, and this is just a 3DS version. That's a yeah. 3DS version, okay? That 3DS version <laughs> has one-on-one -on -one matches, has uh, has um, has uh, free-for-all matches. Yeah. It has, uh, it has uh, side games like Home Run, Bat. It mm -hmm. has like this Angry Birds, Bob uh, Bomb Smash. Mm -hmm. It has all this crazy stuff. This game has content. The music is fantastic. Right. You can even use this game as your uh, as a music thing. Like you can literally yeah. leave your 3ds on sleep mode, close, put your headphones to it, and listen to the soundtrack, and just use the L and R buttons to skip or go back. Right. right. That is That's stuff, it. Like, stuff like that. Do we see things like this in American-made games? No. no. We gotta pay for these things or wait six months to a year to get it. And by then, I'm bored with the damn game and it's over and I traded it in. I don't care. <laughs> like, the thing is, you gotta get my attention at the beginning. You right. have to get my attention at the beginning and then the game has to hold my attention for right. me to even want DLC. To mm. even think about DLC. That's it. That's just me. That's just me. That's it's just me. It's the truth. I mean, this is, this is current. Well, supposedly, we're in current gen. They need to give us some killer apps. We need some killer games that are going to make us want to come back and play. We so, should have had these things at launch. We should have. Like I mentioned I'd be happy today. with logos right now just to know that these games are getting made. Yeah. Just so that way that I could feel like, oh, okay, I'm justified. You know, yeah. there's the worst coming out. You know, it's coming out. Just that, just to give us, like, a taste. It's like a picture or something. Mm -hmm. You know, some concept or anything. Right. The thing is, is that, look, they show Crackdown 3 is coming out for Xbox One. Have you seen anything else about Crackdown no. 3? No. Uh, Crackdown is actually a good game. Crackdown is a great yeah. game. And I, I like play. Crackdown. I enjoyed it on my 360. Yeah, it was a good game. I loved it. Yeah, they gave you Crackdown too, girl. Yes, I honey. Know. I know. Oh, crack down, crack. The thing is, is that what Crackdown was is that that was fun to play with friends. Like, yeah. That that was it. Just just the free roam itself. It didn't have a great story. I I don't know anything about the damn story because I forgot. <laughs> but I remember I had fun looking for the agility orbs and jumping from like a super, uh. super high. That is fun. And if they actually put really good missions into it, mm -hmm. it would be a fantastic game. That's Drive, it. Uh, you know, they had a new commercial or sort of trailer for it where. What would Sunset Overdrive look like in real life? And mm. and it was funny. It's like about an eight minute long trailer thing, and it was funny. If anybody didn't see that, um, wow. you guys totally need to see it. It's it's pretty. Okay. Cool. Um, I saw it while trying a new pretzel pizza at Little Caesars. <laughs> was that good? Was that good? It was, was flat. Good? It was Whoa. flat. Um, it was look. Oh this is all the pizza was. It was basically what a regular Little Caesars pizza is, mm -hmm. except that the bread is slightly more brown with a little bit of salt on it. Oh goodness! And it's yeah, flat, but I, and it's I thought flat. they it's put puffy. like cheddar cheese stuff. In oh yeah, it. and they put and they put cheddar cheese on it. That don't look it, good though. So I, no, it, I mean it doesn't look appealing at all. It's not. I'd rather have the deep dish. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, That's all I need to know. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, I mean, it's okay, but it ain't worth six dollars. It tastes like, I mean, it's it. I I wouldn't get it again, to be honest. I wouldn't get it yeah. again. It was it was okay. Like if somebody like brought it to a party, I eat it. But I if would. it was like if it was out of choice, yeah. God, we're talking about pizza on a game show. <laughs> wait, 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 the gamers eat pizza. It's yeah, a game that's, food. That's one of our gamers' foods. Yeah. yeah Pizza, soda, energy drinks, you know. That is part of a gamer's and balanced diet. Candy. <laughs> Chips. Yeah. Chips, dip with some oh, soda that. on the side. Maybe <laughs> an energy drink to keep you up at night. That's it. But no, I'm not that type of gamer. I just eat a pizza, maybe some chips on the side, maybe drink. Oh, uh, chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. <laughs> with a soda on the side. <laughs> oh God, I'm getting started. I don't know. Go ahead, go do the dance. We are gonna do the dance. I don't actually know the dance. 
<laughs> I think I saw somebody do it one. There was one with a stinky leg, and then I had my own Dude, thing. stinky leg. No, no, no. You want to know what I really thought it was? This, I thought this was the dance. I thought this was the dance. But see, this is my leg here, right? Do the stinky leg. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was something like that. I thought it was something like that. Like, oh, God. I took it literally, you know? <laughs> I see. <laughs> so I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. I, I, All right, we totally <laughs> off subject here. We People are, are getting bored. I hope, no, I hope we're giving people a good laugh. No, they know we like to cut up. They you already know. We, we, we lose topics sometimes. There's episodes yeah. where we're not we're even talking about. Yeah. Well, no, we we try to keep it on games, but we kind of go off topic. We were talking about tablets. We we're talking about pizza, and now look at me talking, still not talking about games. <laughs> so, um, yes, the thing is, Tokyo Game Show is officially over, or was over on Sunday. And did anybody even see anything that they remotely cared about? Well, this I tried to find episode, some so. stuff on it, but I, I didn't I, really. Oh God. Final Fantasy XV was my life. <laughs> that was it. Final Fantasy XV was all I needed to see. And if I saw Kingdom Hearts 3, that would have been Heart Attack on the floor. But, um, <laughs> but yeah. But Final Fantasy XV and the fact that it's getting a demo, I'm good. I, I would have been more happy with a release date, but or at least a year, just a year, like 2015, 2006-something. But no, it's not done. Except that we got uh, uh, um, uh, uh, a director change, which I'm okay. At first, I was not happy with the director change. I was very um, skeptical about it. But when I found out who it was, I'm like, oh, okay, all right, yes, <laughs> th that makes sense. A guy who did Final Fantasy VII game, I can I can mess with that. I can mess with yeah. that. But it has Tetsuya Nomura's gameplay, and as long as he doesn't change that. I'm good. Um. So, did anybody see anything at Tokyo Game Show like that really grabbed their interest? Nope. Nothing at all. Not, Not at really. Wow, man. Did any of you guys see Final Fantasy 15? I looked at a little bit of it. Yeah. Yeah, me what too. Do you mean a little bit of it. You didn't see the whole trailer? I no. It. <laughs> How do you not see that whole trailer? I posted Fire. it up on the Gamers Nation page, on yeah. my page. I mean, <laughs> like, follow us on Facebook, people, if you haven't. But come on. I mean, I'm posting it up. I mean, there it is. It's right there. You guys need to see it. You guys need to see. You guys need to see the Super Smash Brothers commercials. You guys need to see the Final Fantasy 15 trailer. And they actually show gameplay for Dragon Quest Heroes. Basically, it is basically Dynasty Warriors. But that does not bother uh, me. That just, look, look at you. Look, you refuse to admit. And thank you for bringing that ah uh, into this when I mentioned Dynasty Wars because oh my god, what did you tell me? What did you say? What did you say the other day? I said oh, nothing. You said something, and you know what? <laughs> After all that smack that you said about it. Talking about Hyrule Warriors is yeah. boring. It, 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 crap. It, it's crap, crap, crap. But then what did you say the other day? Completely almost like I dropped on the floor, like literally a second. I fell, I fell, I did this, I freaked out. Yes, yes. I was... <laughs> and then when I found out that Lynn said, that she might actually get it, just waiting for it to get a little cheaper. What? The fact that she found a YouTuber, not moi, a friend that she knows. But none he's not a friend. He's just this guy that I follow on YouTube. Uh, he's actually doing a playthrough okay, of Hyrule play Warriors. And I'm, like I'm, I'm doing a playthrough. His of name Hyrule is Warriors. Ghost Robo. Okay, I'm about to check him out. Support your own before you support other people. No, oh, you know that. <laughs> no, okay. so first off, I am going to be doing a live playthrough on my Twitch channel of Kyle oh. Wars on Friday. All right. But he's doing it now. Look, you could have waited until Friday. It comes out Friday, right? Look, yeah. Okay, he may, he may, he may. What is he? Is he? Is he from Europe? I don't know, but he got it early. Does he speak with a British accent? No, he does not. He probably got it early. Some sort of way. He probably He's got, got a lot of subscribers, so he probably got it because he got yeah, a lot no, no, no. of subscribers. So, that, is the, that is the benefit. That's the benefit that he has over me. But anyways, 
Wait well, a minute, I don't watch you, Will. You Wait a minute. Do you guys them. know that Australia is getting um the new 3DS this year? Yes. <gasps> no, are you serious? Yes. I'm and even more have... mad now. Yeah, I'm like, but, but you gotta understand, Australia gets everything extremely late. It's about time that they got at least yeah. something before us. I still want it. Okay, well then, you got any friends in Australia? Maybe they can, you know. Hey, no. you know, you know, you I thought I thought they were region locked. They are region locked. Oh, so okay. there's there would be no need. There no. would be it would be absolutely pointless to get an Australian one because they they actually ban games in Australia. Yeah, like they do. They, they actually don't have Mortal Kombat Nine. They've never seen it. Wow. Because it's banned. Mm. I even think wait no Grand Theft Auto Five isn't banned. How is Grand Theft Auto Five allowed in Australia but not Mortal Kombat? That that doesn't make sense to me. But whatever. I, exactly. With a lot whatever. of stuff that's in Grand Theft Auto Five is. Mm. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know since I don't live in Australia. <laughs> but I guess we should just end the show here. I mean, I mean, we've been on for like about an hour and a half, so I said that that was good. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Always leave questions. If you ever have any questions, we will be on next episode. On Friday, I will be doing a Twitch live stream of Hyrule Warriors. The channel is KeyBladeFan26. I repeat, KeyBladeFan26. <laughs> and, um, and uh, you know, uh, so I guess we'll go with the clothes. So um, advertise yourselves. So we're going to go with Dirty. Dirty, advertise yourself. <laughs> oh, you really put me on the spot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said this. I was acting for the advertising stuff. About, like, I, I mean, normally, I, never mind. <laughs> Would you like this to go back to you? You know, get yourself a little time to prepare. Be like, what's yeah. up, GN? One turban whisper with the blue hair. That's what. I, <laughs> yeah, just, I just come back to me. Come back to me. All right, we'll come back. We'll come back to you. We need some time to prepare. Oh, yeah, wow. Advertise yourself. <laughs> Danny's sleep. sleep. Oh, yeah, Danny's asleep. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. He always sleep. Well, you got to understand, he lives in Europe. He's asleep. I know, he can't, I know. He can't be, uh, Trust uh, me in there. He's man, with... advertise yourself. Go lean. What good, people? I caught one reviewer here on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I need y'all's help to get there. I will host a giveaway. Congrats. Congratulations. I said on the road, too. Oh. I need okay. help to get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, people, if you haven't subscribed to iPod One Reviewer, be sure to subscribe to her. Um, next, the woman that doesn't need no introduction because pretty much every single <laughs> one of you will watch our show. To Miss K. <laughs> wait a minute. All wait a minute. Hell. Yo, yo, Hyrule Warriors girl. <laughs> Let's play. Miss K, all her viewers are the ones are the reason why why you know they watch her show. It's because of her. So you know what? She doesn't need no introduction because well, the reason why she comes to this show, the reason why they come to the show is Miss K. Well, here we go. True. Here we go. Y'all already know is Miss K. I don't need no introduction. It's all y'all. Who follow the show? Follow me, so y'all already know what it is. Y'all know what it do. So y'all know what I'm about. So you know, you support me. You support Gamers Nation. That's what's up. Damn. Man. Thank you, Lynn. Miss K. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you were like on his spot on. <laughs> she so, said it all. That's great. She said it all. All right, Miss Kay, do you have anything you'd like to add that she possibly knows? <laughs> no, I don't want to mess up. Oh, okay. I don't want to mess up. All right. <laughs> All right, follow 219 Gary IND if you aren't and you're a first time viewer of our show. Well, thank the you. Show. The show. The show. There we go. The show. For oh, show. <laughs> Next, we have the Trent Network Trent. Advertise yourself. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Trent from the Trent Network with no videos. But maybe <laughs> I'll put something up. Poor thing. Do you yes, plan on live streaming ever? Hmm? Do you plan on ever live streaming? That'd be cool. I don't know. You have the capability of doing so, and then you can port your videos over to your YouTube channel. You should do that. 
Yeah. At least you could live record. Well, not not actually stream, but record your stuff. Like you yep. do. Like your gameplay with the crew. Yeah. Yep. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Trent will hopefully have videos in some time in the future. So be sure <laughs> to subscribe anyway. Maybe the, the subscriptions will actually motivate him. Oh, look who's poking their head in. Hi, oh, kid, kid. Hi, kid, kid. <laughs> oh, my cat. That's my cat. Um, <laughs> look, cutie yeah. pie. Next, we have Thuggy Plus. Thuggy, advertise yourself. What's up, y'all? This your boy, Thuggy Plus. That's a plus design, not plus spelled out. Um, you can tweet me on Twitter. I am Thuggy. You can chat about anything you want. Yeah. There we go. I love how Thuggy just does it. We don't never plug our knows. Twitter pages. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just, I don't know. I don't Gamers know. Nation has a Twitter. Gamers Nation, yep. yes, we have a Twitter. On and uh, Instagram. And an Instagram that nobody ever goes to. But uh, no, we need to start posting some pictures yes, up on we, Instagram. We do. We do. Yeah. Now we're going to go back to Dirty. Dirty, you have plenty of time. So, Dirty, advertise yourself. What's up, people? It's your boy, Dirty. Um, you know, if you want to hit me up on, on my YouTube pages, um, the old Dirty 33, uh, you can hit me on Google Hangouts, Twitter. I'm all there. I'll let you boy. See, look at that. That's it. There we go. That's it. And finally, I'm your host, Will. Um, I have the Will of Gaming channel. I have a Destiny review. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, my Twitch is uh, KeyBladeFan26. There's also Gamers Nation to subscribe to this channel. And I also have Dark Ruler 1030 which is like a Blog, a blog channel where I kind of complain about life sometimes. But anyways, I haven't done a video like that in a while. I haven't done a video on that channel in a while. But yes. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Like always, um, share with your friends. Share with just share everywhere that you know, and um, keep supporting the show if you guys enjoy it. So thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I, I will. I will no. worry, got a got a better story than Destiny. Hyrule Warriors actually has a story compared to Destiny. Oh, oh, no. oh you gonna get hate for that one. <laughs> Look, you me. are gonna get hate for that Watch one. Stars. I doubt I doubt if games come back on the show after that. <laughs> games is too busy playing Dusty right now. Exactly. He ain't even worry about coming. He ain't even gonna see the episode. He's too busy with Dusty. Anyway. Watch oh, well, why did you have to mention it? Okay, so we're gonna end the show. So, Dirty, do you have like a like a smart remark to end? No, he's gonna come in and watch, watch. Okay, well, we're gonna go. Bye. Bye. The Game Boy Advance can do sixty frames per second. <laughs>